Agora TV. The world is thinking. Are there any myths that you did that never made TV? That I, that I which? That you did that never went on TV? Um, yes. <laughs> uh, there is one. If you, when you're a kid, you always want the most sugary cereal, right? And your mom's all like, no, grape nuts or Cheerios. And you're like, no, super sugar crisp. And your mom says, the box is more nutritious than the cereal. So we tested that. We got some lab mice and we set up a set of cages. And we had one cage where the mice were eating regular mouse food, another cage in which some very happy mice were eating Fruit Loops, and a third cage in which the mice were eating these little mouse food like pellets of cardboard that Jamie had made. And things went fine for about, a, about five days. And Jamie was the one monitoring, because when Jamie was 15, you might not know, he actually owned a pet store at the local mall in Columbus, Indiana. Uh, so he was the one monitoring the, 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 the mice. And it was Friday afternoon. He's going to do the final pre-weekend check. And they all look like they're pretty good, except for the, the cardboard mice are admittedly a little, like, they're, something's different about their movement than the other two cages. Um, so he packs up, turns the lights out, and comes home. When we came in on Monday morning, um, the situation was very, very different. In the cage with the cardboard, there were no longer three mice. There was one really fat mouse. And the other two mice were like, like a, from a Chuck Jones commercial. They looked like the fat mouse had eaten them like corn on the cob. They were a head and a tail and nothing but a rib cage in between. So we immediately nicknamed him Killer. And I held him up to the camera and I said, this is what happens when mice attack. And we thought it was really hilarious and Discovery did not think it was very hilarious. <laughs> and then, but by the time Discovery didn't think it was hilarious, I'd already gotten a rough cut on my computer and I took it and I showed it at a college, I think like Northern Michigan Tech or something like that. And it got this massive response. And then Discovery called up and were like, please don't ever show that again. So that's never going to see the light of day, unfortunately, but I can talk about it. It's freaking hilarious.